Hello, everyone. This is Matt Brandenberger with the integrated FWCS tech team, and I'm going to be walking you through a series of videos showing you how to use Seesaw. Um, Shannon Quigley is also going to be doing some of the videos in this series, so you'll see her a little bit later on. But in this first video, we're going to walk you through how you can set up your Seesaw account and your first class. So if you go to Google and just type in Seesaw, it should be the first thing that pops up. And if you click here, the actual URL is web.seesaw.me. You can see that at the top if you want to just go directly there. And here at the top right where you see sign up for free is where you're going to want to click. And it will take you to this page where you will say, I'm a teacher. And then instead of entering all this information in, if you're setting up the account for the first time, I would suggest going down here to teacher sign up with Google. And if you click there and then enter in your FWCS username and password, I'm using a teacher friend of mine who allowed me to use her information. Once I put that in, it will take us to the single sign on page here where I will just put in her information again. And once I sign in, it takes me into Seesaw. Now, the first time you set up this class, it's going to say to name your class. So I'm going to say Miss Glass Fourth Grade. And I'm going to put the year as well. So this is the 2019 20 school year. And then she teaches fourth grade. So I'll put that here. This is important because you're going to want to have that information for. Um, later when it gives you some ideas of assignments that you can do specific to your grade level. So I'll put it in fourth grade there, hit the green check, it creates the class, and voila, we have our very first class. So when you initially sign up for Seesaw, it does create a class for you, but let's say you wanted to add another class for some reason. You may, maybe it's next year, or maybe you have multiple classes that you want to divide your students up into. Um, if you go up here to where it says your name and click here, it does give you the option to create a new class. When you hit the bu plus button here, it will just take you back. And again, you could put in the name of your class and choose the grade level as well. So that's how you can create another class if you need to do so. All right. Thanks for joining us for this video. And we'll see you next time where we'll learn about how to put students into your class. See you then.